The Artisan Electric EV2000R is the second model we've tested from the company and we have to say it's excellent. The looks alone make me want to ride it. It would blend in happily outside an Italian coffee shop or indeed cruising through city streets. It really is beautiful. This is a learner legal bike equivalent to a 50cc moped and puts out 2000 watts of power, enough to get you up to speed briskly. It carries a minimalistic retro design throughout, as seen here, and is equipped to carry a pillion passenger. In its cheapest form, with no options, it comes in at £2,440, and you can add extra batteries at £500 each. However, if you want the model I'm testing here with its options, it comes in at £3,195. To give a comparison, this equivalent 50cc moped will cost you £2,699. I'd say one service and six months of fuel, you'll have your money back if you went for the more expensive EV2000R that I'm riding today. Hello and welcome to another episode and welcome to this, the Artisan Electric EV2000R. Bit of a cross between maybe a Lambaretta, Vespa, it's sort of in the mix there and it looks absolutely beautiful. It comes in a few different colours, uh, you can have it in blue, you can have it in white, I've seen it in green and in this colour here. Uh, you can have a different colour seat, you can have the uh, white, you can have blue, uh, you can have the black one here. But for me, this is the best configuration of all of them. It really is absolutely beautiful. Now then, what do you get? Well, being electric, how fast does it go? 30 miles an hour, limited. It's a commuter bike. You're not gonna drive from Aberdeen to Hinkley on this unless you've got a whole lot of batteries. That brings me on to another subject. If I just pop the seat up here, let's run around. Under here is where your batteries live. And if I just disconnect this, this is the main cable that goes into the battery and out it comes. Look at that, easy as that. And it's not particularly heavy, I'd say, probably five kilos there. Let me pop that there. And here's a party trick. There's a spare one. So if you do run out of range, you simply get the cable, you swap it over and away you go. So one of these bad boys, this is lithium ion, will give you approximately 25 miles of range. Now when I left to ride here, I left with 31 miles, I've ridden nine miles and the range hasn't changed at all. So for me, I think it'll probably do more. Refitting both batteries is easy. This took 18 seconds in total and simply swapping the cable can be carried out in under 10 seconds. Refueling has never been so quick. Charging is easy and very, very cheap. On our Economy 7 tariff, we were able to charge both batteries for 12 pence. This is also great for riders that live in flats or charge at work. Also, you don't need to be connected to the bike to know the battery state of charge. This convenient LED gauge does that for you. Something else I'd like to show you, if I just pop that out, and I've run around to the camera, it's gonna bend down a little bit. So, that is the key. Looks a little bit like a Tesla, but actually more like a Porsche, and comes standard fit with an alarm. Excellent. So just tucked away under here is the hub motor. Now that is actually the most efficient way of moving around. There's no chains, there's no belts, there's no shafts. It's all in there. Also, if I just switch the ignition on just there, you'll see a nice LED tail light. And if I pull the brake, LED brake light, LED indicator and LED indicator that side. Fantastic. And the same for around the front. Let's take a look. Let's pop the key in again. So that's your dip beam, that's your high beam, indicator left and indicator right. Just turn that that way a second. So being loaded up with LEDs, really good for efficiency, really good for consumption. So all things going in favor of range and they look spectacular. Looking down at the front, we've got a twin pot caliper and a drilled disc. So stopping power at the front, all good. Round to the back. And the same applies here. Twin pot hydraulic caliper and a drill disc. The Artisan offers some sneaky storage just here. There's enough room in there to get both of your chargers. If you have two batteries, you do get supply two chargers. So your offboard charger can become your onboard charger. The 
main question we always get asked about any EV is how far will it travel on a single charge? So with two full batteries, I set off to give it a good range test. Now Artisan advised me that 40 kilometers or 24 miles per battery is to be expected, but I wasn't sure if this is city driving or riding at its maximum speed. So I was really surprised that after 32 miles, it still hadn't stopped. I'd simply noticed a small drop in performance and the gauge was reading zero. I swapped to the next fully charged battery and I carried on, now in the dark. At the point where I was ready to stop, I'd reached 55 miles and it still hadn't ran out. So overall, I was massively impressed. On reflection, the EV2000R performed well above what we expected. And it's been a real joy to ride, not to mention one of the best looking bikes available to buy. So if you're in the market for a great looking moped and you want reliability, a smooth, quiet ride and very cheap running cost, I'd advise you to take a look at the EV2000R as an excellent commuter solution. Many thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and follow us on Twitter at Kate Phantom. And we'll see you next time with another episode.